Maybe he doesn't remember. Maybe he's lying. I don't really, I don't know. Uh, there's a, an equal chance for both before I start getting clipped on social media and saying, aha, he's defending Kirkpatrick. No, frankly, in this instance, I don't care. And here's why. I think that a lot of people are missing the bigger question. The bigger question is why in 2018 was Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick of all the scientists in all the land, why was he asked by the congressional staffers or this committee to come in and essentially oversee what was being said? What was it about him that, that led them to ask him? And then just so happens that years go by and he finds them himself at the, at the helm of a UAP, UAP research effort within the Pentagon called Arrow. How did, how did those cards fall? It's like everybody cares about him lying or did he not? Or was it 2018 or what, 2017? Look, interesting, cool. But I want to know why he, above anyone else, was asked. And I want to know how the chips laid the way they were to pave the way for him to go on to lead Arrow. To me, that's more fascinating. And by the posting of that picture, uh, Brandon, and kudos to him, just added that much more to the story that, that, that visual element was awesome. So again, is he lying? Look, it's a huge possibility. Does he not remember huge possibility? It, it doesn't, to me, it wasn't uh, as blatant as some people felt it was, but to me, I'm fixated on the why question. Why was he there? And why did he go on to lead arrow? Cause remember in other interviews, you know, he's, he's kind of um, said, I, I don't really have a, didn't really have an interest in UFOs prior to this. And yet he's attend. somebody called him to attend a 2018 briefing, whether it be on UAP or whether it be on Skinwalker Ranch or both. Uh, look, you can arg argue those, those details. That's fine. But why, why was he there? Why was he asked? Um, and that to me was, was the more intriguing question. <laughs>